Hello and welcome to Part 5 of Accounting for Investments to help you prepare for class. It is important that you view this before class so we can learn more together in class. This video will walk you through an example of accounting for investments using the equity method. We will finish this video by discussing how to record the sale of an investment. After viewing this video, you will be able to record all three journal entries required under the equity method and be able to record the sale of an investment. In this example, the investor owns 30% and has significant influence. The equity method must be used to account for the investment. The investor pays $345,000 to acquire 30% ownership. The total owner's equity of the investee is a million dollars at the time of the purchase. If the fair market value, or the amount paid by the investor, was equal to the book value of the company, the investor would have paid $300,000 which is 1 million times 30 percent. The investor pays more than book value because of the equipment with a book value lower than fair market value and the investee has goodwill that was internally generated that is not recorded on the balance sheet. Pause the video and write down the information in the example. You will need it when we make the journal entries. The investor is willing to pay for the balance sheet and the things that are not reported on the balance sheet. The amount paid, fair market value, will be different than what is reported on the balance sheet because of the goodwill and the equipment. The difference in the equipment will be eliminated over the useful life of the equipment. Goodwill is never eliminated. Given the fair market value of the total company is $1,150,000, the investor is willing to pay $345,000 to purchase 30% ownership. Remember, the purpose of the equity method is to report the investment on the investor's balance sheet at the percent ownership multiplied by the investee's owner's equity reported on their balance sheet. You should notice that at the time of purchase, the investment of $345,000 does not equal $1 million times 30% owned. This is due to the difference in fair market value and book value of the equipment and the goodwill discussed a moment ago. The investee, which is the company invested in, earns $100,000 and declares dividends of $20,000. At the end of the first year, the investor must record the three journal entries to keep the investment account proportionate to the investee's owner's equity. The first entry is to record the investor's share of profit or loss. The second entry is to record the investor's share of dividends. The third entry is to eliminate the difference for one year. Notice that all amounts are multiplied by 30% ownership. Do not forget to multiply by the percent ownership. Take a moment and notice the debits and credits that are used to record the investor's 30% share. The investee's owner's equity increases with profits and the investment account increases also. The investor reports this non-cash gain in value as investment revenue on the income statement. The dividend is recorded as a return of capital. Dividends decrease the investee's owner's equity and the investment account must also decrease. An owner cannot pay himself and call it income. The equipment has a fair market value that was less than book value at the time of purchase, so the investment account must be increased to get back up to book value. Remember that the investment account, represented by the fair market value, must move in the direction to get to book value. Also remember, no adjustment is made for that portion that is related to goodwill. The amounts reported on the investees and the investor's balance sheet change with the events during the year in the journal entries we just recorded. The investee reports a lower net asset and a higher owner's equity on their balance sheet. The income increase and dividends decrease their owner's equity. The investment account also changed to reflect the dividend and the income and the investor's share of the difference in book value and fair market value related to the equipment. Notice that the investment balance of 376500 does not equal 30% of the owner's equity of the investee of 324000 
because the equipment that had a difference in book value and fair market value still has a balance and goodwill is never eliminated. At the end of the second year, the investor must record the three journal entries to keep the investment account proportionate to the investor's owner's equity at the end of the second year. The first entry records the investor's share of profit and loss. The second entry records the investor's share of dividends. The third entry eliminates the difference for a one-year period. Notice that all amounts are multiplied by 30%. Do not forget to multiply by the percent ownership. Take a moment to notice the debits and credits that are used to record the investor's 30% share of the amounts. The investee's owner's equity decreases with a loss and the investment account decreases also. The dividend is recorded as a return of capital. Dividends decrease the investee's owner's equity and the investment account must also decrease. The equipment has a fair market value that was less than book value at the time of purchase, so the investment account must increase to get to book value. Remember that the investment account, represented by fair market value, must move in the direction to get to book value. Also remember, no adjustment is made for the portion that's related to goodwill. The investee reports a lower net asset and a lower owner's equity on their balance sheet. The loss and the dividend decrease their owner's equity. The investment account also changed to reflect the dividend and the loss and the investor's share of the difference in depreciation on the, on the equipment. The investment is reported on the balance sheet at an adjusted cost. It is not reported at fair value. After two years of accounting for the investment under the equity method, the investment balance represents 30% ownership of the investee company's owner's equity with the exception of the amount paid for goodwill. Goodwill is never adjusted. This concludes our discussion on the equity method. We will now talk about how to record the sale of an investment. There are four steps that must be recorded when selling an investment. First, record the receipt of cash with a debit. Second, remove the current balance in the investment account with a credit. Do not use the original cost unless the investment is reported under the cost method. Remove the current adjusted balance in the investment account. Third, remove the balance in the accumulated gain loss account if the investment is accounted for as available for sale. Fourth, the journal entry will be out of balance and a realized gain or loss is recorded for the difference. A debit is a realized loss and a credit is a realized gain. To record a loss, record cash for the amount received, remove the investment account for the current balance, remove the current balance in the accumulated loss account, Assume the balance is a debit in accumulated loss and it takes a credit to remove the loss. Record the amount required to balance the journal entry as a realized loss. Go through the same four steps to record a gain. Record cash for the amount received. Remove the investment account for the current balance. Remove the current balance in the accumulated loss account. Assuming the balance is a credit so it takes a debit to remove the loss and record the amount required to balance the journal entry as a realized gain. The accumulated gain or loss can be a debit or a credit depending on if the investment had gains or losses in the previous year. Recording a sale on an investment under the cost method, the equity method, and the fair market value method as a trading security is very similar with the exception that there is no accumulated gain loss to remove. Follow the steps to record the sale of the investment. Step 3 removes the accumulated gain loss account and it is not done because we do not have one of those accounts if the investment is not long term available for sale. If there was a gain, the same steps are followed. An investment with an original cost of 100000 and a current adjusted balance of 127000 was sold. The entry to record the sale depends on the method of accounting for the investment. 
If the investment was available for sale, it will have a balance in the accumulated gain loss account. Follow the four steps. Record the law at the cash, remove the investment at the current balance, remove the accumulated loss. The journal does not balance. Balance the journal entry with a debit to realize loss. If the investment was accounted for under the equity method, there is no accumulated gain loss account. Follow the steps. Record the cash and remove the investment at the current balance. The journal entry does not balance. Balance the journal entry with a credit to realize gain. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute amounts and record equity method journal entries. You should also be able to equate the investment account balance to the investee's total owner's equity and reconcile a difference due to goodwill. Be able to, you should also be able to record the sale of an investment. Please complete the fill in the blank pages in your course pack and work through some problems on studymyaccounting.com. Practice will help you remember. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is very much appreciated.